What's going on guys, Fatal Louis here, bring guys a brand new video, we're gonna be doing a mid fit on my boy, so stay tuned. We're gonna be starting off by saturating the hair and combing everything in place, making sure our canvas is nice and neat. Using clips is very important because it will hold up the hair and keep the hairs that you don't want to cut up. Okay, now that we're done parting the hair and pinning everything up, we're gonna go ahead and switch over to our foreguard all the way open and debulk the sides. We're also gonna use our comb to feed the hair into the clipper. Now that we're done debulking the sides, we're gonna saturate it a little bit so it can lay down the hair. Now that we're done creating our silhouette, we're gonna move on to our gold FX and create our first guideline. You always wanna contour this guideline to the head shape so that the fade can flow better. Now that we're done botting them out, we can move on to our no guard all the way open and create our second guideline. You always want to make this guideline around an inch thick so you can spread the blend. Once I'm done setting in that guideline, I'm going to slightly close the lever midway and all the way close and attack that initial guideline. Now that we're completely done erasing our initial guideline, we can move on to our one guard all the way open and create our third guideline. We're then going to use this same guard and its lever to soften up the line and get ready for the half guard. I hope you guys are enjoying the video. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. It's greatly appreciated. Also, if you guys want to support the channel, go ahead and leave a super thanks down below or follow the Instagram. Now that we're done softening up the line with the one guard, we can move on to the half guard and erase the line completely. Now that we're done with our lower guards, we can move on to our two guard all the way open and create our fourth guideline. As you guys can see, I'm using my comb to feed the hair into the clipper and I'm flicking out as much as possible. Now that we're done softening up the line and using the lever with the two guard, we can move on to the one and a half guard and erase the line completely. Sometimes there's still a faint line after using the one and a half guard, so switching over to your one guard all the way open and using its corners would definitely help. Moving on to our clipper over comb method, this is going to help us debulk and create the silhouette and make sure everything's nice and smooth. But we're starting off with our horizontal cuts and then we're switching to our vertical cuts to make sure it's nice and blended. I always like to make sure the hair is a little bit damp so it's easier to pick up the hair with the comb.
Moving on to our three guard all the way open, we're gonna detail as much as possible and lighten up any dark spots. Now we're gonna go back to our previous guards and detail as much as possible. Here I'm using the one guard all the way open and its corners to lighten up a dark spot. Now that we're done with the fade, we can move on to the front line and separate his baby hairs from the hair that we don't want to cut. Now that we're done combing everything down, we can go ahead and debulk them with the one guard all the way closed. Now that we have a nice and clean canvas, we can move on to our gold FX and start off in the middle and work our way to the sides. You always want to make sure you go slow enough that the hair feeds into the teeth to the trimmer because if not then the hair is going to shift and then you won't line them up properly. When I line up my C cups, I always start off at the bottom and work my way to the top arch using the corners of the blade. Now we're working our way to the next side and we're going to also follow the same steps and go as slow as possible. As you guys can see, I'm using the corner of the blade and the C-cup is coming out nice and crispy. Now we're going to knock the beard down to a one guard all the way open and make sure everything's nice and even. Now I'm going to use the gold FX to line up the back of the beard and also the neck of the beard. When lining up the neck area, you want to make sure not to press too hard because be gentle here because you could cut them and the skin is very thin here.
Now that we're done lining up the beard, we can move on to our Turkish Razor and Derby Premium Blades and make them as crispy as possible. We also want to apply some shave gel so that the razor can glide better. When using the razor, you want to keep it at a 45 degree angle and stretch the skin as much as possible with your opposite hand. This lowers the likelihood of you cutting someone. Don't forget to stress your skin is very important. I hope you guys are enjoying the video. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. It's greatly appreciated. Also, if you guys want to support the channel, go ahead and leave your super thanks down below or follow the Instagram.